So, hello everyone, welcome again in my course Power Electronics Application in Power Systems. So, in last couple of lectures, I, I started discussion on uh, static bar compensator and I, I said that that static power compensator uh, is a kind of shunt uh, reactive power compensation devices uh, and this is a family and there are many, many different types of SVC exist. So, I, I started the initial discussion with thyristor controlled reactor uh, whose acronym is uh, TCR and in the first two lectures, I discuss the basic operating principle of the TCR and uh, the harmonic behavior of the TCR and uh, the construction de detail of the three phase TCR because you have to understand at this point is if I even if I do not mention all the reactive power compensation devices are of three phase. So, you one needs to understand the three phase constructional detail such type of compensator. Okay. Now, I will continue the discussion in this lecture as well. We will try to understand the voltage current uh, characteristics or VI characteristics of the TCR and we will discuss some of the important aspect on it. Okay. So, let us start. Okay. So, today I will uh, discuss the operating characteristics of TCR. Okay. So, if you have followed my last lecture, I have uh, discussed that uh, the equivalent circuit model of the TCR. This is the equivalent cir circuit model of a three phase TCR, although this is a single line diagram model and in power system we assume that this unbalance or imbalance of transmission line is very less. Therefore, we, we consider the uh, it is a relatively balanced system which is always true and therefore, we represent all these uh, different lines, different compensators, generators uh, in a single phase equivalent form. In short, it is called single line diagram. So, this is a single line diagram of equivalent circuit of a TCR. So, it is nothing but a variable reactor. Now, one need to understand that this variable reactor is represented with a variable susceptance where this B TCR is a variable susceptance and this, this variable susceptance is basically representing the whole TCR itself. And the question is the how can uh, we vary the susceptance value? This is possible uh, by uh, varying the firing angle control of the bidirectional switch or thyristor which is uh, which are used to, to uh, design this uh, TCR. So, here uh, in the very first lecture I, I have shown you the single line diagram of this SVC. Here you can see this these are the typical switches and uh, we are basically these are the uh, typical switches we are basically operating these switches either uh, fully on mode or fully off mode or partially conducting mode. So, whenever you will operate it a partially conducting mode, you need to vary the firing angle. So, this is the concept of firing angle I discuss and I discuss also that uh, there are different books where different instant of time is considered to measure the firing angle. So, we follow here this Mathur's former concept where alpha is measured from 0 crossing voltage instant that means this instant in this particular figure this instant in this particular figure. Okay. Now, what we can see over here is that when these thyristors of the TCR partially conducting in nature then uh, this this um, current which is drawn by the TCR is non sinusoidal in nature or distorted sinusoid in nature. And therefore, there exist certain harmonics and in the last lecture I discuss the harmonic behavior. Okay. Now, here is the diagram of the plot of this fundamental current which is drawn by the TCR and in our analysis in particular design this fundamental current is an important aspect and here you can see that when this uh, the both the switches are fully on then current this, this TCR current will be 
at its peak value and then it will slowly get reduced to 0 when the switches are fully turned off. And in between this to this that means when the firing angle this is what the firing angle. So, when this firing angle is changes from pi by 2 to pi then you can see that uh, this current magnitude is getting change. Now, if you consider so then it is actually happening because of the change of the susceptance value because system voltage where this this TCR is kept that may remain constant we will assume that it remain constant. So, therefore, this due to the variable susceptance values of the TCR this fundamental current is getting change. Now, today we will try to uh, understand this voltage current characteristics of the TCR. Now, you know that as we discuss over here that we consider that this TCR as a simplified model ignoring the step down transformer. So, this is suppose the single line diagram of the TCR, this is what the representation of variable susceptance okay. and this is what the voltage uh, of the bus at which it is placed, this is the bus at which this is placed and the current drawn by this particular TCR let us represent it by I TCR. Okay. Now, what will be the relationship of this voltage current and this uh, susceptance? This we can get from the basic electrical engineering course that we know that uh, this, this I TCR would be equal to this V multiplied by B TCR. Okay. All right. Now, this B TCR uh, is the higher this B TCR is the susceptance of TCR, V is the voltage at the bus where TCR is placed and this I TCR represents the current drawn by the by the TCR. Okay. All right. Now, what is the susceptance? We know the susceptance is uh, the reciprocal of the reactance. So, we know that B TCR is basically equal to 1 upon j x t c r okay, where x t c r is the reactance of the t c r. Okay. Now, since uh, j is the complex operator which is in the denominator, so the basically this b t c r can be represented by minus of j multiplied by 1 upon x t c r. Okay. So, 1 upon x t c r is having a positive value and it is being multiplied with this term j. So, basically the susceptance is a kind of negative quantity when uh, it represents the susceptance of a reactor. Okay. So, susceptance of a reactor is a negative quantity because minus j is getting multiplied with that and that is why if you consider this, this equation and if you put this b t c r over here then this current will be also negative. Okay. But there is a convention which is followed in, in most of the books either in Hingorani's book or Mathur Verma books or a similar kind of book that is the current drawn by a reactor is considered to be positive and current drawn by a capacitor is considered to be negative. So, the convention is convention is current drawn by a reactor is 
considered to be positive whereas current drawn by a capacitor is considered to be negative why it is so because you know that uh, this current multiplied by voltage uh, for a reactive device like a reactor or a capacitor represents the reactive power uh, of that particular reactive power absorbed or delivered by that particular device. Now, if the current is positive and of course, voltage is always positive, then uh, the multiplication will also be positive. So, therefore, this reactor whatever reactive power it draws would be positive which is true. Okay? We consider that all this load whatever present in particular this inductive type of load we consider they consume reactive power. So, we consider consumption is positive. Now, if the consumption of reactive power is positive then deliver of the reactive power would be negative naturally. So, therefore, if consumption of a reactor is positive then the whatever reactive power is delivering by a capacitor that has to be negative. Okay? So, and that is why uh, when uh, you multiply this capacitor current which is a negative uh, with the system voltage. So, the reactive power becomes also negative that means, this negative sign shows the capacitor is not is negatively consuming or I should say that the capacitor is negatively consuming the reactive power which implies to that a capacitor. Uh, basically delivering reactive power. Okay? So, that is something you need to understand at this point. Okay? So, so, that is what the convention we will also use here. Now, another thing that you should know that there are this, this reactor let us consider let us consider that the rated susceptance of the reactor is B L. Okay? So, B L is the rated susceptance of the reactor and this B T C R is the susceptance of the reactor which is variable due to the variation of the firing angle of the uh, thyristor switches. Okay. So, there should be a relationship of this B T C R and B L. B L is the uh, rated susceptance. So, therefore, the B T C R would be equal to B L when the thyristors or the switches fully conduct. That means, this corresponds to this firing angle alpha is equal to pi by 2 according to the Mathur's Farmer convention. Mathur's Farmer's convention. If we go back and see, then uh, we, we already discussed that in Mathur's Farmer's convention, uh, this range of this alpha is uh, pi by 2 to pi, and when it is pi by 2, alpha is equal to pi by 2, that is this, that is this, then the switches are fully on. Okay. Now, when the switches are fully on, then this whatever this uh, susceptance of the TCR is that is the rated susceptance of the reactor and let us represent it by B L here. Okay. So, whenever uh, this alpha is equal to pi by 2 that means, it is uh, switches are fully conducting then B TCR will be equal to B L which is the rated susceptance of the reactor. Now, the question is what would be the values of B T C R then for any other value of alpha. Now, the question is so what would be the values of values of B T C R when alpha is greater than pi by 2, but alpha is lower than pi. Okay. So, in between this you know that uh, these switches are up 
partially conducting mode, switches are operating as a partially conducting mode. So, what would be the values of BTCR when this happens? So, this relation uh, shows that uh, these switches are a partially conducting mode. Then, when there is a partially conducting mode, what would be the value of this BTCR? Now, of course, this BTCR would be different than BL. Okay? Now, the question is whether this BTCR value would be higher or than BL or lower than BL. In order to understand that, you have to go back and see the plot of the fundamental current uh, with respect to this alpha. So, this is a plot of plot of fundamental current. So, this this multiplied by this, uh, this is considered to be a constant. So, uh, in fact, only this is variable. So, only we took uh, the variable part of it. So, this gives a relationship of plot of uh, this I T C R fundamental to versus this this alpha. Now, you can see when this alpha is increasing, this fractional uh, quantity is getting reduced and it becomes 0 when alpha is equal to pi. So, it means that actually this fundamental current uh, of the T C R or fundamental current drawn by the T C R is getting reduced with the increased value of alpha. So, this is something we can note down. So, what we can note down here is the fundamental current drawn by T C R is getting reduced. with increase in increase in alpha. Okay. So, that means current value is getting reduced. In fact, overall current is getting reduced when you are delaying this firing angle, when you increase this firing angle. So, if this current is reduced, we know that this voltage, it does not have any relationship with this firing angle control of this TCR. So, voltage uh, let us consider it always remains uh, same. So, let us assume that let us assume that let us assume that that this V which represents the voltage at the bus where T C R is placed V remains constant V remains constant then if it is so, then this B T C R, B T C R is, is a ratio of I T C R divided by V. So, when I T C R is basically reduced uh, because T C R current this is getting reduced. So, B T C R will also reduce. So, so B T C R, B T C R magnitude magnitude will get reduced with alpha. Okay. So, that is something you need to understand. So, B T C R magnitude also will get reduced with respect to alpha and when alpha is equal to pi by 2 that is when these switches are operating at fully conducting mode then only this B T C R would be equal to B L that is the rated susceptance as I discussed, but apart from that in, in any other value of this alpha, for example, when alpha is increased from pi by 2 to pi, then this B T C R magnitude also will get reduced. Okay? That is something one need to understand. Now, let us plot this characters, uh, this uh, because our main goal is to plot this operating characteristics of the T C R. So, what we will do is, let us plot this V that is the voltage versus I T C R. Okay. Now, how would be the plot? So, the plot would be something like this. Now, I will also like to say that 
I will revisit this relationship that I T C R is equal to V multiplied by B T C R. So, let us write I T C R is equal to V multiplied by B T C R. Since I T C R is positive and B T C R is negative. So, in order to make this I T C R positive, we will consider V as a negative or we may use a negative term over here. Okay. So, that is what the idea is. So, this relationship we will use uh, to, to make to make I T C R positive. Okay. Now, if we consider that this axis is uh, let us represent uh, it I S V C or I T C R and this uh, uh, axis let us represent V T C R. Then you can see that uh, this, this relationship gives uh, since the i is positive uh, and V is also positive. Uh, so, this uh, since B T C R is negative. So, negative negative will be multiplied by and it will be equal to positive. So, it will be a, a straight line relationship with y is equal to m x. So, uh, so, here we have in uh, only thing you have to note down is, is, is that here we have interchanged this axis. Here, here i t c r is our uh, x axis and uh, v t c r is our y axis. So, if we want to represent in, in terms of this y is equal to m x which is a state line well known state line relationship then y is basically uh, here is our v t c r and x is equal to our i t c r. So, therefore, m would be the slope which will be equal to 1 by b t c r. Okay. So, that means that uh, reciprocal of the susceptance will be the slope okay. and this relationship will hold for this characteristic equation. So, therefore, we can plot it at like a straight line passing through origin. It is as simple as that. So, let us plot it like this. So, this is a plot of this uh, this V T C R versus I T C R uh, V T C R versus I T C R when uh, this corresponds to a particular value of alpha. Now, we will consider this particular is considered at this alpha is equal to pi by 2 that means, it is operating at fully conducting mode. Now, what would be the plot then for any other value of alpha? For example, alpha is equal to uh, this some value which is higher than pi by 2 and some value which is lower than uh, pi by 2. Now, we know that when we know that when alpha is equal to pi, when alpha is equal to pi, what is the value of I T C R? If you go back and see the uh, waveforms of this voltage and current, you can see when alpha is equal to pi, then this current would be 0. So, therefore, I T C R would be equal to 0. So, that means, this I T C R would be equal to 0. So, when I T C R is 0, now why I T C R is equal to 0? Because if you look at uh, this, this relationship that if I T C R is equal to 0, V cannot be equal to 0, then of course, this uh, B T C R has to be equal to 0. So, therefore, uh, if B T C R is equal to 0, then M would be equal to 1 upon B T C R that will be infinity. So, therefore, when alpha is equal to pi, corresponds to the plot over here. So, this is the plot corresponds to alpha is equal to pi and for any other value of this alpha, uh, this plot would be like this, this, this and this. So, this as if this characteristics is being shifted from this point to this point. 
from alpha is equal to pi by 2 to alpha is equal to pi if you increase the value of alpha. So, as if this characteristics is being shifted to this side with the increasing value of this alpha. Okay. So, for any other value of this alpha the characteristics will be this because for every uh, different value of alpha corresponds to different value of BTCR, different value of the susceptance. Why different value of susceptance? Because the current is getting changed and current is changed due to the change of the susceptance okay. because uh, ultimately this, this TCR is modeled as a variable susceptance. So, when alpha is increased from pi by 2 to pi this characteristics would be shifted to this side okay. and this point, this point, this, this characteristics is called as maximum, maximum absorption limit. Okay. And this characteristics is called corresponds to alpha is equal to pi this characteristics is called maximum production limit. Okay. So, these two are two extreme characteristics of this uh, voltage current characteristics of the TCR. One is maximum absorption limit, another is maximum production limit and this uh, VI characteristics is getting shifted from maximum absorption limit to maximum production limit when you change alpha from pi by 2 to pi. So, this is I can note down. So, the VTCR, ITCR characteristic is shifted. from maximum absorption limit to maximum production limit when alpha is increased from pi by 2 to pi respectively. So, this is an important uh, remark that you can note down that when we keep on increasing the value of alpha from pi by 2. Now, what is alpha is equal to pi by 2 corresponds to? Uh, it corresponds to the point when uh, this, this thyristors are fully turned on. Okay. Now, uh, when you move on uh, from this point to the point when uh, this both the thyristors are fully turned off, that means if we keep on increasing the value of alpha from pi by 2 to pi, then the characteristics is being shifted from this maximum absorption limit to maximum production limit. Now, what is maximum production limit implies to here? Here you can see it corresponds to this characteristics which is exactly superimposed with this y axis or the vertical axis. It means that uh, actually this ITCR is not producing anything because this corresponds to the case that ITCR will always be 0 even if your system voltage is getting change. Okay. So, it means that there is no production of the uh, bar or there is no production of reactive power uh, in case of a TCR unit. So, this is another comment the maximum production limit for TCR shows that ITCR is always 0 
which implies to implies to the fact that TCR cannot produce reactive power produce or I should say deliver reactive power ok. So, that is why this is uh, superimposed and this is superimposed to the y axis which implies to that to the fact that the bar is never produced in TCR which is very natural because there is no capacitor or such a kind of uh, system over here or device over here which can produce bar ok. So, it is a simple reactor which is controllable okay, whose uh, reactance is controllable whose susceptance is controllable and by controlling so we can only control the uh, bar absorption that is it but we cannot deliver any reactive power here. So, that is quite natural. So, from this idea from this point one needs to understand that uh, there should be some other uh, uh, this hard uh, producing uh, source over here in order to shift this maximum production limit to non-zero point. So, basically uh, in order to have a finite amount of hard production this maximum production limit needs to be shifted to this side which implies to that there is a hard production as well as hard absorption, but it is not possible unless you have a source of hard production system over here ok. And that is why uh, this TCR uh, needs to be operated with some other hard producing sources most commonly the capacitive capacitor and there are different types of TCR then. Uh, we will discuss for some of the uh, this kind of devices in, in, in the future lecture. So, therefore, I should write to shift the maximum production limit to a non-zero value there should have have reactive power generating source or product or reactive power producer generating source. For example, capacitor. So, if we have a capacitor along with this TCR then we, we can shift this maximum production limit to the non-zero region. That means, uh, that, that then the whole unit can produce the power, uh, produce reactive power as well as can absorb the reactive power. And this is a different type of TCR. Regarding that TCR uh, characteristics, I will discuss in the next lecture. So, in the next lecture, I will I'll discuss uh, different forms of TCR in order to specifically shift this maximum production limit to uh, this 0 uh, axis or y axis to the uh, negative axis which means that there should be a uh, some non-zero value of bar uh, that the whole unit can produce along with some uh, reactive power absorption capacity or capability of the TCR. So, from this we can understand that uh, this TCR can be operated from alpha uh, pi by 2 to alpha is equal to pi and by operating so we can only uh, control the bar absorption. So, so without capacitor 
without capacitor tcr can only act as a variable reactive power absorber okay and the variation of the reactive power can be controlled by the uh, firing angle control and the variation of the reactive power absorption can be controlled with the control of firing angle. that is alpha of the switches ok. So, this is these are the some important remark that one needs to understand at this point that this uh, TCR is a variable hard absorber uh, unit without having a capacitor or capacitive kind of source it cannot produce any type of bar, but it can absorb the bar and the bar absorption can be variable by varying this alpha or firing angle and in order to extend the characteristics with uh, to the non-zero production limit uh, we, we need some sort, some sort of reactive power uh, source or some device which can generate reactive power for example, capacitor. Now, the capacitor and the TCR can jointly act as a uh, hard absorber as well as uh, this hard producer unit. Okay. And this uh, there are different types of uh, such uh, unit which we will be discuss in the next lecture. So, uh, at this point we understand this operating characteristics of TCR and uh, in the next lecture I will discuss different types of TCR unit with non-zero hard production limit. So, till then thank you. Thank you for your attention once again.